You clicked on the video and you shall receive. Ring of Honor gets a brutally honest review from extreme wrestling fans. This is FWO. I'm Chris Helix and this is Future Wrestling Observer's first ever review on Ring of Honor Wrestling. Get ready for tag team matching and four corner survival. I'll listen more on FWO. Tag team action to kick off ROH. We had Outlaw Inc. versus the American Wolves. Outlaw Inc. is in the pursuit of the ROH tag team titles that are currently held by Red Dragon. And Outlaw Inc. ends up picking up the win in this 1.5 star match. And I do believe, if I remember correctly, they end up now being the number one contenders for the ROH tag team titles. We had a four corner survival match for the main event. A four corner survival match, if you don't know what it is, is four guys in the ring uh, competing to win and they're not together in any tag team, but it is a tag type match where you can be on any corner and tag in at any time as long as you can make the tag. And it was uh, Roderick Strong versus Jay Lethal versus Matt Tavin versus Michael Elgin. Elgin ends up picking up the win on Strong. And I have to say this is probably one of the best wrestling matches I have seen in a very, very long time. I am definitely going to stick with doing reviews of ROH. And this match for me ends in my highest rating of all time for a match. 3.5 stars. So FWO's first ever review of ROH was the December 7th episode and I gotta say ROH gets a solid 3 stars from FWO and I will definitely be doing more Ring of Honor reviews later on and I have to say before I end this review that uh, Jay Briscoe's title belt I think looks way better than the RH tile belt they have now. That's just my opinion. But I gotta say, I hope Jay Briscoe wins this uh, world title match that he's going to be in because I'd love to see that title continue in ROH. And I will see you next time on FWO.